sun as we know is the ultimate source of all kinds of energy and light is one of them light is one of them when this light crosses over the earth atmosphere at the upper surface it has to cross it has to go through vacuum or atmosphere in vacuum it always moves straight but when we strike and crosses over it bends and therefore light shows two kind of properties one is one is reflection the other is refraction and then deviation we first take part reflection we have certain laws of reflection first one is when light falls on any surface this is normal to this point of application and so it always goes through in the same region making equal angle with the normal or uh, this is called incident ray this is angle of incidence this is reflected ray angle of refraction so first law is i is always equal to r second day second law is incident ray normal and reflected ray are on the same plane always light also have certain peculiar properties number 1 it consists of a particle called photon which is a bundle of the smallest bundle of energy equivalent to electron in fact so photon is the particle of light it consists of three kind of energy one is infrared and this is the visible portion and this is ultraviolet thirty percent of the energy is consist of infrared and thirty percent ultraviolet forty percent visible whatever we see throughout is only because of this kind of energy visible energy infrared means the heating effect so whatever the heat we we feel from sun is heating effect ultraviolet gives us a sense of chemical effect and this visible means that energy because of it we can watch anything throughout hi everyone and now Today we start with the next. The topic is reflection. How are the images are formed through convex mirror? Let us consider a convex mirror. This is principal axis. This is center. This is f focal point. And this is pole. The so first we put an image, an object, at infinity, and for that. we take a ray parallel to principal axis after reflection it passes through f and so a the nature of the image formed is real larger real pointer secondly we shall now take another position this is principal axis this is center this is focal point and this is p or we now put the object beyond c at a finite distance like this take considering two two rays only one is strike at this point and out to pass through focal point 
in between this object and pole there are two points c and f so for the sake of simplicity we consider every another way to pass through f and strike here and after striking this surface becomes parallel intersecting the previous ray at this point and so this is i image formed so nature of the image is real smaller and inverted this is second position third position we take a mirror this is convex mirror this is pixel axis this is c this is f and this is pole we put now an object at c consider two rays one parallel and are passing through f it passes through f and after passing through this it intersects at this point so what we see the nature of the image is this is object this is i nature of the image so formed is real equal and inverted it is another another position is mirror this is c this is f this is pole we now put an object in between f and c like this two rays one parallel passes through f and uh, let us adopt to pass through the same and after reflection reflect reflection becomes parallel and so image formation is like this this is real larger and inverted and the condition this is convex mirror this is c this is f this is pole we now put here at f object is put at f parallel along to pass through f now we take another like this it strikes here and back from the same root so becomes parallel to infinity real real larger much larger and inverted last one is a special one here we put this is c this is f this is pole we put an object between p and f and you can see a two rays one parallel and out to pass through f like this we take another it passes a strike here when we produce it back both meets at a point here when it is reflected back the distance between two increasing and therefore produce back to meet at a point 
this is called image and so in this position the image is virtual a virtual larger erected cd erected means cd so this is a special case where the whenever the image formed is behind the reflecting surface we call it as virtual image so this is the last one from convex lens just take for an example image making through a concave mirror there is one and only one position all is inside and this is surface reflecting surface here this is c this is f let us suppose a ray coming parallel to principal axis try here and allow to pass through f not like this we join this and this so this is joining this point to c this is i and reflection takes place here like this this is r so image form is so image is virtual pointer convex mirror and let us see how the image are formed let us put this is c this is f and this is p let us put an object at infinity and take a ray which is parallel to the prism axis it is reflected and then we see from here it seems to be making it image at f so image image formation is at f it's a pointer image this is virtual pointer let us take now an example a convex mirror this is c this is f and this is p <coughs> we take we put an object at a finite distance and let us compute two rays one is parallel to the principal axis when seen from here it looks to be passing through f and then we take this it seems to be passing through c so these two intersect at this point so image formation is this so nature of the image is virtual smaller erected we now come to define magnification magnification means how large or small are the images are formed for example for example let us take a concave mirror this is c this is f this is p put an object here this is one ray passes through f Take another also passes through F, and after striking, it goes parallel. So, this is the image formation. I. The question is, this is larger and this is smaller. So the ratio between the ratio of 
height of the image i, height of the object o is defined as magnification is also equal to v upon u. And so we have the formula m is equal to v upon u is equal to i upon o for magnification. Now we have three conditions. If m is greater than 1, the image form is larger. If m is equal to 1, the formation is equal. If m is less than 1, it is diminished. And now, we come to have a mirror formula. So we have a mirror formula. And that is 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v plus 1 upon u. Where f is the distance of focal point. from pole. U is distance of object. V is distance of image measured from pole. So this is the middle formula. Now we Try to understand about the sign convention. Let us take an example here. This is a mirror, concave mirror. This is C, this is F, and this is O. Let us put an object here. This is parallel, this is parallel to F. Again, take another and passes again striking here and then passes parallel. Means here, this is I, this is object. Sign convention is like this the distance of this is U, this is V. And this is F. The distance are measured in the direction of incident ray as positive against it as negative. So this is negative. This is negative and this is negative. We now take some numerical questions. And the first one is. Super length is minus 10 centimeter. Distance distance of the object is given as minus 15 centimeter. We are required to find the nature of the image so formed. So first of all, we try to find out f. We imply the formula 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v plus 1 upon u. So 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v. f is given. f is given as minus 10 plus 1 upon v. u is given as minus 15 centimeter. So 1 upon v is equal to 1 upon 15 minus 1 upon 10 is equal to LCM is 32 minus 3 is equal to minus 1 upon 30 so 1 upon V implies that V is equal to minus 30 centimeter so V comes out to be minus 30 centimeter and therefore this implies that image formed on the same side 
Let us try now the second question. It is equal to minus minus 30 upon minus 15 is equal to minus 2 centimeter. Now we know that m also is equal to i upon o is equal to minus b upon u or upon camera and therefore putting down the value here i upon o is equal to minus b upon u i we have to find o is 1 centimeter minus 30 and minus 15 is equal to minus 2 centimeter employs that i is equal to minus 2 centimeter this means image is inverted larger because height of the object is 1 centimeter this is twice that is larger so nature is real larger and inward we take another question in this question we are given with o is equal to 2 centimeter u is equal to minus 16 centimeter i is equal to 3 centimeter this is given and so we use the formula m is equal to i upon o is equal to minus v upon u so m is equal to minus 3 upon this is minus 3 2 is equal to this is plus 2 is equal to minus 1.5 centimeter and this implies that image is inverted now we use again the formula m is equal to minus v upon u m is given as minus 1.5 minus v upon minus 16 this is v upon 16 and therefore v is equal to 16 into minus 1.5 is equal to 24 centimeter This is minus again. We have to find F also. So we use the formula one upon F is equal to one upon V plus one upon U. One upon F is equal to one upon minus twenty centimeter. 24 centimeter just find 1 upon minus 16 centimeter is equal to now taking LCM is 48 this is minus 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 5 upon 48 and therefore F is equal to 40 upon 5 minus is equal to this is 48 sorry 48 this is 9.6 centimeter minus and so nature is real inverted and diminished